Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I've got a Sideshow Collectibles figure to show you today. A really awesome one. This is the Cobra Elite Trooper, codename Crimson Guard. And this is the exclusive version, which comes with an extra head sculpt. So let's jump right in and take a look at this beautiful box. It's got some great artwork. I love the cover photo here of the Crimson Guard. This is one I've been wanting since I was a teenager, actually. I remember drooling over this one in particular. I thought he looked so awesome. Got some more great pictures here on the side of the box. And here's some more. There's his card. Sartan and Black Dragon Ninja being advertised. And if we open it up, you can see his loadout and descriptions. And I've left a few extra hand sculpts and two uh, extra feet as well in there. So. That's the box. This one came out in 2012, so it's one of their later ones. So yeah, let's bring out the figure now. All right guys, here is the Crimson Guard. Right now I've got him with his exclusive head sculpt on. Yeah, this is an awesome figure. Great detailing, very unique loadout, and um, yeah, this guy looks like a boss. I love the red uniform. All right, well, for starters, let's take a look at his exclusive head sculpt. So. Right now I've got him holding his helmet, and if, here's a look at it up close. And here's the exclusive head. Really cool, great detailing. Alright, so let me take it off, and here it is up close. Looks great. Alright, so I'm going to put on the helmet for the remainder of the video. Alright, so there he is with his helmet on. A very iconic helmet and right now I've got him holding his SMG which he holds very nicely and it does come with a suppressor so let me put that on all right and there he is holding it looks awesome All right, and here it is up close. There's a grip on it, and magazine comes out, of course. Got a scope and a folding stock, and also a sling, so you can put it over his chest if you want. All right, so this is an awesome weapon, and it's unique to the Crimson Guard. No other figure comes with it. Very nice. And then his main weapon is this um, FAL rifle, which um, I prefer this one. This, this one looks great. Um, we've got a bayonet that's attached to it. OK. 
okay and of course the magazine comes out as well and let me put it in his hands for you here he is holding it Looks awesome. All right, so those are the two. Well, actually, he comes with a third weapon here, and that would be his handgun, which is a Desert Eagle, which is just awesome. So let me get this out. It's a little tricky to get out of the holster. There we go. So here's his Desert Eagle pistol. And you can pull it back. Great detailing on there. And um, magazine comes out. Check out how thick that magazine is. Very powerful pistol. And here he is holding it. He holds all of his weapons really well. Right, so those are the three weapons that he comes with. A great loadout. All three weapons are unique to the Crimson Guard. Uh, Destro comes with a silver Desert Eagle, but no other figure comes with a black one that I'm aware of. So that's unique to the Crimson Guard. So moving on, let's take a look at um, his gear. So he's got um, this backpack, which at first I didn't know how to figure out. It actually opens up, which is really, really cool how this works. So this piece opens, and then you pull down on this piece to reveal a whole bunch of stuff inside which um, I don't know why I thought this was so cool how this works. So he's got two grenades here. I think these are, these must be smoke grenades. And then he's got two extra magazines for the Desert Eagle, two extra magazines for the SMG, and also looks like a little mine up top there. So this was really fun putting all of this inside of here, especially because I didn't really know how it worked at first, but um, yeah, it looks great. I love how that, I love how that works. Um, it's just a hard, hard plastic material, but I think it looks really good. All right, and he's got a really nice holster for a Desert Eagle. But other than that, he doesn't have much else equipment. As for the uniform, he's got a beautiful uniform. Um, I love the color red, so this figure really gets me. Um, the red uniform looks amazing. And um, yeah, here it is up close. You can see the Cobra insignia on his sleeve, and of course, a big one on his chest. Okay, the epaulets and this gold. Um, I forget what that's called, but the, this gold uh, rope that wraps around his shoulder. Now, this is really unique. This centerpiece here is actually magnetic. So all you do, you just tear it off. Okay. And that way, this allows you to put on the backpack. This is all, these are the straps for the backpack, and that way you don't see any of it but I thought that was a really unique design. Uh, the magnets make me a little nervous. You can see like some of them are starting to fall off. So I would not recommend playing around with this too much. And the same goes for the, the, um, the leather. It's not real leather, but there's some leather-like jacket that he's got. I would recommend being very, very careful with it because I can see this easily 
starting to peel over time if it's in a bad environment. Uh, just be, be uh, very careful with that because once that goes, you know, that's really going to ruin your figure. But um, the uniform is really beautiful. Um, you've got the red pants and then these boots are very nice. And also his gloves. I love these gloves. He's got the black and the red mixed in. That looks great. And then also one last look at his helmet. And this is once again just a plastic material, but um, it looks really good. All right, guys. Well, that's everything to show for the Crimson Guard. This is a fantastic figure. Um, if you're into the fog the excuse me, if you're into the Cobra troops, then I would highly recommend getting him. He looks fantastic standing next to Cobra. And honestly, if you have Cobra, you really need to get this guy because he's meant to be protecting Cobra. So um, the exclusive version is cool. I mean, you get this nice extra head sculpt, but it's not a must have, you know, because you are going to pay a little bit more for it, most likely. I spent um, around a little over $200 for him for the exclusive version, so it's pretty pricey, but um, I think it's worth it considering how unique and cool this figure is. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Here's his stand, which I will show at the end of this video. And I'll see you next time, guys.